Are you feeling mad? Yeah. Are you feeling kind of sad, too? Yeah. You're. Yeah, you're kind of. Oh. That one. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a fantastic day once again. Today we're going to be talking about the viral sensation that took over Facebook and Instagram reels over the past six months with the most relatable content possible. Memes that are in fact so relatable that I have started to feel like the green character myself. And I'm sure that's the case for many of you who have also seen these memes before. Now this meme that came out of this show in particular is one of my favorites. It's the one where the chicken is being forced to drink this purple liquid by Mona and it has been used in so many incredibly funny ways. <laughs> So this show is called Nanalan. If you don't know how to spell it, it's at the bottom of your screen right now. I did a little digging because I had no clue where the show came from or how it became so popular in the first place. I found out that it's a Canadian kids TV show and that makes sense as to why I didn't see this as a kid growing up in the United States because I'm not a Canadian. But I'm actually kind of curious in the comments below, have any of you guys ever seen this show not in a meme? I'd be, in I'd be, oh no. I'd be really interested to hear what you think. But most importantly here today, I got a message from Mona herself and I think that we should all listen to it together. So let's do that. Yeah. The bee could have stung her. That would have been not good. Ryan, there is a bee. She looks like a bee though. There was a bee right there. She almost got. She's disguised. She need a bee, Ryan. That could have happened. Oh, Rusher, don't go near the bee. Yeah. Of course. Rusher, Rusher knows because he got the thing before it happened. It happened, Ryan. So you know, thanks for loving Nana Land. You could come to Nana Land anytime that you want. That's probably good. You could play and then no worries. And play with Roger and eat a sourie with peanut butter. Like my Nana. Oh yeah, that's what she does. Mm. Yummy. Hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. It only cost me $120 to do that. Money well spent if you ask me because I got to talk to the one and only Mona from Nanalan. Is it, is it Nanalan or is it Nanalan? It seems like Mona was a little bit busy there, but at least she was able to tell me that celery with peanut butter is a really yummy snack. I'll have to try it later. I think one of the reasons why Mona became so popular in the first place is because she's freaking adorable. Look at that face. You can't say no to that face. But then on top of that, you add in the relatability of the stories being told in some of the shows. Stories where Mona's grandma will try to cheer her up because she's mad about something. So then the grandma says, are you mad? And Mona goes, yeah. Then the grandma at the end goes, well, let's be mad together. I've had days where Kate will come home and she'll be mad about something and I'll do that exact thing that's in the meme. Are you mad at your boss? Yeah. Well, let's be mad at your boss together. Yeah. But people took these relatable stories and started making all sorts of memes out of them that made them even more relatable. Like the meme at the beginning where she was gonna eat healthy and then and shoved her face full of brownies. How relatable is that? The meme where you're way too full of beer, but your friends keep pumping you full of more alcohol. The drinking That's definitely one of my favorite memes of Mona. There's also other ones where it says management passing blame on employees after putting way too much workload on them and then has the chicken getting drowned again by the purple drink. No, because no. In 2024, a year of chaos, a year of all these crazy things happening, this puppet was the thing that we didn't know that we needed, but we did need. I can't tell you how many times I've been having a little bit of a bad day or been feeling a little bit down and then I flip open Instagram reels and see that cute little character with those memes that are basically my own life. And then I've had a good laugh and felt a lot better about myself. Memes like this are needed in a world that's really sucky to make it suck less. As you can see, the show here does have popularity. It was released in 1999, so it's not a new show. In 2004, it had another peak where some episodes were released on VHS and DVD in the US. If you're a young person, you have no idea what VHS or DVD even is in the first place, and this isn't the video where I'm gonna explain that, but I was around when VHS 
and DVD still both existed. And it explains it very well here in late 2023. Video clips of the show went viral on TikTok and the show gained a new audience of adults. As of February 2024, the Nanalan hashtag on TikTok has over 320 million views. And according to whatever the hell that is, the show's audience is largely millennial women from the US. This children's show in Canada that was made for children now has a primary audience that is largely just adult millennial women in the United States of America, which makes perfect sense because me and my wife are both millennials and we've both been getting this stuff for ages now. It's gotten to the point where anytime I see a meme, I just send it straight to her in the first place. I don't even know what the meme's about. If I see Mona's face, I send the video to my wife on Instagram. But it makes sense why this show is so relatable and why it took off in the first place because the creators have stated that mindfulness is the root of what the show stands for and the show's thought of mindfulness and supporting people in their times of need with love and kindness is kind of something that I completely and totally stand for. It's just crazy how the internet works. One day you could just be a children's TV show in Canada and the next day you're number one trending all over Instagram and Twitter with a bunch of people who have made your TV show and do hilarious relatable memes. Maybe that's the same thing for a YouTube channel that has 1,138 subscribers as of the making of this video. Maybe all it takes is just one video to go from 1,138 subscribers to 10,000 plus subscribers. I have no clue, I'm still waiting for it. But while I wait, I do thank you for watching today's video. Right now you may have noticed a video popped onto your screen also from my channel. You should click on that video and watch it because the YouTube algorithm thinks that you would like it and they're pretty smart with that sort of thing. My name is Ryan Askew reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is pretty cool. Until next week, all I have to say is one more thing and that is a bye bye